So we survived the research trip, which we should probably never speak of again. And here is our haul. One gnarly Sumerian book from before time began and... The Rescued Digital Consciousness of one J.P. Armitage, junior records clerk and Silas student, class of 1874. Say hi to the internet, J.P. Because somebody really did get absorbed into the library catalog. Although, how he got sucked in like a hundred years before the catalog was digitized? We really need to find you a better interface. Anyway, turns out J.P. has helped us before. Remember the truly stellar search results and timely warnings for us to flee from our last trip to the library? All courtesy of J.P. According to J.P., there was a rash of disappearances in 1874 as well. And although he didn't have an electron microscope to suss out the brain parasites, he did get way further along than we did with his research into the Lucha Eserintem, or the Hungry Light, and the Cult of Vampires Serving It, a.k.a. the Dean's Special Counsel. He'd even found reference to this giant Sumerian tome uh, that's supposed to have a section on it, which is what he was searching for in the sub-basement when he got absorbed. Well, Wonder Librarian better have more than just hungry and eats girls, because that pretty much describes everything in this book. No, but there's got to be something. Mm -hmm. No, Yogoth, raised with 12 virgins, burned, burned at the stake. Um, Kalos, sprinkled with the blood of virgins smeared on the roots of this sacrificial tree. Nyar Logoth prefers the livers of virgins for fed nothing but red wine for 96 days. Ugh. 13 year old boys have so much more subtlety. Yeah, that's the problem with the existence of horrors from beyond the dawn of time, their lack of subtlety. Though it is pretty cool you can read Sumerian. Nah, 1871 was a dull year. I decided to read Gilgamesh. Oh, good. You're all still here. Um, because I saw Laura's last video about going to the library, and I thought I'd just check to make sure you weren't dead, and you're not. So that's fine. She'll come around, you'll see, because you're awesome. And we would literally be nowhere without you. You know that, right? Thanks. Come on, JP. Let's you and I hit my homunculate anatomy course and see if we can't figure out anything about these parasites. Great. And we will keep reading the giant Sumerian tome of Do Not Want. So, thanks, by the way, for coming with us to the library. I thought we were never speaking of that again. Yeah. <laughs> you came along because you want to know what happened to her, didn't you? So you're hoping that you can save her somehow? Don't start expecting heroic vampire crap from me, Cupcake. If I know better than to mess with my mother, I sure as hell know better than to spit in the eye of something old enough to think it's a god. Besides, the wench is dead. So are you. Doesn't seem to be putting a dent in your social life. Besides, if you want me to stop having heroic notions about you, you should Probably stop saving my life. Then who would buy the cupcakes? <sighs> there is just nothing like a good night's sleep. Right, sleepyhead? No. I mean, I did dream about that weird black cat thing again, but I think that's just my subconscious being weird. This morning, after a long night of fruitless research, it is more fruitless research. <sighs> this time for my final lit paper on which I am woefully behind. If anyone had told me before college that fighting evil required this much paperwork, I would not have believed them. Where is she? Because if she thinks this is some kind of joke that she's trying to teach me a lesson, it is in such incredibly bad taste. Where is who now? Susan! Uh, La Fontaine. And I know that she's mad at me, but that is just no excuse for all this. La Fontaine isn't here. What? No. No, she has to be. It has to be a joke. What has to be a joke? Her room was a mess, and this was stapled to the door. Dear student, your nosy little friend no longer attends Silas University because A. She meddled in things that were none of her business. B. Did you really think we wouldn't find out what you were up to? C. We are ancient and terrible. D. None of you are safe. We'll take anyone we want. Exit procedures have commenced. No action on your part is required. <sighs> 